Paige's symptoms, well, they began in January of 2012, but we weren't aware that they were actually vision issues. Um, she would come home from school and just have boundless energy, and her, her eyes would be all watery and um, irritated and tearing. And we just we just figured she had a virus or her allergies were acting up. We we never really thought of vision as as a problem. So. And there were some issues um, that we put together um, that that were becoming evident, uh, but we weren't connecting them to mm -hmm. a vision problem. Um, she. Uh, she was constantly knocking things over. She was klutzy. She was, and, and those were things that, that um, with, within the past couple of years of, of, of this, or I mean previous years, and, and we just, now looking backwards, we can see that that was a vision issue, but it was just, we thought, those were just toddler issues, you know, at the time, and knocking things over on the table. We couldn't have a meal with something getting knocked over, and it just, because she couldn't focus, her judgment was... Mm -hmm. She wouldn't right sit hands. still in the chair. And, uh, just, yeah. So. Until January 18th was the day that it was totally discovered that it was yeah. indeed a vision issue, when um, her gym teacher caught me in the hallway at school and, and said that... Um, she was seeing blobs, told him that she was seeing blobs and seeing double and um, couldn't participate in gym that day. And um, it, was, it was pretty scary. <laughs> so, and when I picked her up from Scouts that night too, she was saying she was seeing double. And I had uh, spoken with a mom who was standing next to me, who was a very good friend, and she had heard of Dr. Knipple in the Vision Therapy Center and heard of great success with um, children that had Paige's symptoms. So um, I took that information, but yet we still made an appointment with the pediatrician just to rule out if there was anything physically wrong with her that was causing the double vision. When um, the night after the scalp meeting, we went to the pediatrician and, and basically she checked out perfectly normal and her vision was they said about 2030, nothing to really worry about. Gave us a list of eye doctors to, you know, if we felt, you know, follow up was needed. So um, we're just really glad we, we got the referral yeah. to come here. Yeah. And finding out how severe her condition really was um, and how she was seeing things, we were amazed. And that the testing that they did here was, was just, you know, we just couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Paige started her therapy with Syntonix, the light therapy, and um, that was really amazing, the results that she had from that right away. Mm -hmm. um, however, we it, have to admit, at first, it, it, it was... It seemed a little strange. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it wasn't um, something tangible, something we could put our hands on. It's, it's, it was just... Uh, seemed a little strange, mm -hmm. um, but then we started seeing results. And, yes. And, 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 um, you could, during the therapy sessions at home, you could almost just see it working. You could just see she was relaxing and that, you know, it was, mm -hmm. it was quite amazing. And after that, mm -hmm. after the syntonics, um, then she started her weekly therapy. So we came once a week here. And, um, the exercises that they gave the children, or that they gave Paige, with, they were very um, easy for her to learn and just geared toward a child that she actually enjoyed doing them. So, and everything was explained to us. You know, the parent would meet with her after the session and learn what exercises were needed. Mm -hmm. But it was, so, it was a, a, a commitment. commitment, a family mm -hmm. commitment. I mean, it was a daily commitment for all of us, mm -hmm. and, um, and 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 you had, you had to believe in in, in mm -hmm. um, the final outcome. It, so the changes were gradual. Yeah, yeah. But we started seeing them a few months into the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
when we were driving yeah. in the country after a wedding. And on the way home, it was in the evening, and she looked out the window and was basically shouting to us, Daddy, look at the stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. and, and it really was as if she saw them for the first time. Well, first time so, she could focus on Right, them. right. Or well, was it was blurry. Um, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and the same thing in the fall. Yeah. We were driving, and she noticed the leaves and the colors yeah. of the leaves and just the fine details of things that before... She never, you know, she could never focus on becoming more coordinated, mm -hmm. less mm -hmm. klutzy. Um, yes, it, no, calmer, she's, she's, calmer, yeah, calmer. Mm -hmm. um, and she always hit, did well in school, but that that was the reason why she came home with those watery eyes, because she tried so hard to focus and see single all day, and yeah. But then as her vision started changing, and her whole temperament, everything changed, and she loves to read. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's very yeah. positive changes. Yes, it's been amazing. First of all, she can't read enough books. She mm -hmm. just is constantly reading. And she's active in sports now. She, her hand-eye coordination is just, it, it has improved so much. She just totally loves yeah, yeah. Being Likes outside, to play and play. volleyball, and basketball, mm -hmm. can hit the ball, hit the hoop. Right. <laughs> she was having mm -hmm. trouble. Yeah. With the, the, like I mentioned before about uh, judgment and. Yes. Not cl not klutzy anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. And. Um, um, yeah, and just all areas of her life have improved, even her, her temperament. She's much happier. Um, in school, she's getting the straight A's, and with very little effort at that. So, yeah, yeah. It's, she's, uh, and she's she's doing better out in the outside. She had mm -hmm. she had a problem in the sun mm -hmm. too. Her her she had a problem with her eyes dilating, and that was another issue that wouldn't have been corrected with surgery. Um, mm -hmm. That uh, um, that was. That's a lot better now. Um, yeah, she used to squint all the time outside in the sun, and, and we we didn't know what yeah, she just, we just thought well, she was sensitive to the light, mm -hmm. but there was actually an issue with mm -hmm. um, her dilate, dilating. Mm -hmm. um, and, and 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 with um, surgery. Uh, that wouldn't have been corrected. And and there's been a handful of people that we've talked to since we've been in this program mm -hmm. that it knows helped. somebody that has had surgery or has had a child that has had mm -hmm. surgery and it hasn't. It didn't it, help it, them. It, 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 it went, their eyes went back to the, the way they were before. And um, this was a commitment, like I said, for us, and uh, not only the time and the energy, but financially too for us, because this wasn't covered by insurance for us, and and it was worth every we, penny. We would we do it again in a heartbeat. Believed, yeah, that, mm -hmm. that this was the best mm -hmm. decision. So for it really us. did change her life. She's a very happy, content child now. Yeah. Mm -hmm.